Hey guys, so I have a little bit of a different video for you guys again. I did a video similar to this um, a couple of weeks ago probably and I got a lot of really positive feedback from you guys and I had a lot of snaps later on, actually an overwhelming amount, um, that I really, really appreciate you guys um, reaching out and expressing, you know, either your gratitude or other concerns that you may have. So that is what brings me to today's video. I talked about in the last video about drama channels on YouTube. It's a little bit of a newer genre uh, in the YouTube world and a lot of them kind of comment on beauty bloggers almost a little bit in the way that E! News does, I would say, is what I can kind of compare it to, except a lot of the times it doesn't really have merit. Um, we can get into that later. Uh, I feel like a lot of times, though, they're just looking for another video, and a lot of the content isn't based in fact. So, that's neither here nor there. Today I'm going to address something that I see an overwhelming amount, and one thing we're going to talk about is disclosure, or non-disclosure, affiliate links, and sponsored videos. So to start with disclosure, uh, there are FTC guidelines, and I'm not going to get technical on any of this because... That's not really what this is about right here. Um, if you are getting paid to promote something in a video, you have to disclose it, whether it be verbally, uh, in the title, or in the description bar. You don't need to do all of all three, and if you do choose to disclose it in the description bar, you're not being shady, okay? They do it essentially to protect consumers so you know that the video you're watching is an ad of some sort. Of course, in all of this, it's your job as a viewer to be a smart consumer. That means if you see something that's an ad or you watch a tutorial where something's mentioned or a favorites video or what have you and you see someone raving about a product, first of all that doesn't necessarily mean it's sponsored. <laughs> uh, not everything that's badass is sponsored, okay? Seriously. It could just be good. I know that blows a lot of people's minds. So you could see someone raving about something, but it's still your responsibility to do the rest of your homework before you buy. Uh, we can't really be held liable if you don't end up liking the product. I see this with my best friends alone. I'll use Stephanie for example. You guys know she's my bestie. Love her. There are often times that we'll be like, oh my god, you need to get this product. I'm obsessed with it. Blah, 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 blah. And she'll try it and she's like, meh or I'll try it and I'm like, it didn't really work for me. Uh, that doesn't mean we lied to each other, okay? I feel like I'm getting a little off base here, but what I want to convey is that not everything works for everybody. So if you're watching reviews and you're trying to decide if something's right for you, watch multiple reviews. People have different preferences, they have different skin types, they have different tools that they're using to apply products, a wide array of things that it's really hard to kind of remove all the variables, right? So just as I can't blame Stephanie for loving a product and me not liking it, you really shouldn't be in that headspace either. Now, that being said, there are some times where uh, there's a particular blogger always talks about products that you continuously hate. And what I'll say to that is you guys probably generally don't have the same tastes. It doesn't necessarily mean they're lying because of that. It just means that maybe she's not the person or he's not the person that you need to go to for reviews. That's it. Don't watch it. Now, as I said before, there are guidelines you have to disclose when you are sponsored. Um, you don't necessarily have to disclose when you have affiliate links. Uh, what affiliate links are is, um, I use them all the time. Uh, I will link products in my description bar so it makes it easier for people to shop. People love that, but oftentimes, uh, those links when you click them, uh, it'll give me a, some sort of a commission based on what you purchase at that store. So there's debate on whether or not you should disclose that you're using those. Um, I don't think that you should have to, but that's just my opinion. However, I do do it because I do see that there's an overwhelming amount of people who get really pissed off about bloggers making money, which of course I'll talk about in a moment. And you can check the description bar down below. I'll give an example of exactly what I do in all my videos now. However, just because I do that doesn't mean someone's wrong for not, in my opinion. Tons of positions in all areas and realms of the business world operate on commission-based 
situations. My dad's a sales executive and in my eyes these sales reps, we'll use them, deserve a commission because they did a good job talking about how bomb the product is. So bloggers, we get to do what we love, talk about products that we love, and we get to receive a commission for that. Now we're just going to quickly talk about sponsored videos. I do these pretty, I wouldn't say super frequently, but for me as a smaller channel, I don't really make hardly any money whatsoever using those affiliate links because I don't have very high views, right? I'm just going to give you guys a little lesson. And I know a lot of you guys who are watching this who are my subscribers, we've talked about this before, so this isn't going to be news to you. Uh, my sassiness isn't really directed at you guys either. Um, it's really frustration that comes from seeing uh, really negative comments from people who are really, really pissed off and think that they are getting scammed AF. It's just not the case. Let me stay focused. So sponsorships seem to be the number one source of anger in this beauty community. As I said before, I do them. I have to, essentially, to stay afloat. That being said, I don't review or create sponsored content using something that I think is crap, nor do I think others do. Sometimes I can suspect that, but there are so many times, like I said before, that I really dislike something and I have a very close friend that loves it. So it's hard for me without knowing the person personally to make that assumption. So not everyone does sponsorships. Some people don't have to. Some people make money in other ways. And there's a lot of ways in which you can make money in uh, the blogger, vlogger, beauty community atmosphere. That's a whole nother video, but there are lots of those for you guys to watch. But sponsorships are huge. It's a way to bring money in so that we get to keep creating content for you guys for free. YouTube is free entertainment. And it's also very, very expensive to create content, as I've talked about before. We're expected and demanded of, generally, to have great lighting, great camera equipment, the newest releases of products. The list goes on and on and on, but my point is, is nobody has time to sit here, just as I'm doing now, film for hours, edit for hours, upload videos, spend time on social media, create photos for every platform, go on Snapchat and talk about what's going on. Nobody has time to do that for free. This is a job for us. Using things like affiliate links and sponsored content is a necessary part of owning a YouTube channel. Now, that's not necessarily true because really large channels make money from views alone. I do not. So some people decide that it's not for them and that's fine, or maybe some people just do sponsored content on Instagram, whatever. Every person kind of has their own recipe, essentially, that works for them. Bloggers and influencers, whatever you call us, we're just trying to make the coolest content for you guys. I see comments on these videos um, of these drama channels all the time of people who legitimately think that we are out to scam them, we're out to get them, we are the worst, we are um, full of shit, blah, 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 blah. Maybe there are people like that, but just because you are using these steps to try and make money and build your business to create content for free for your viewers does not mean you're shady. It all comes down to trust. Do you trust the person you're watching? If you do, click on their links and shop. If you don't, don't click on the links. Don't watch the videos. It's really as simple as that. Um, I don't really understand where the anger comes from. Sometimes, I mean, I have theories. Uh, sometimes I think it's a little bit of, I don't want to use the term jealousy because nobody likes to be called a jealous person. I know that kind of makes my skin crawl if anyone says that to me. Um, but I think people have this idea that this is like a super glamorous fucking gig. First of all, let me tell you, it's, it's really not. Maybe for a small handful of people it is, but generally people like me in their robes and sweatpants and two unmatching socks, thank you so much, sitting down in front of a camera just trying to pay off student loans. Yes, I get to have fun doing it. It's a cool job, 
But the reality is, is I took a major risk starting this channel. I spent, as I said before, all the money I had um, buying a camera and equipment and <laughs> I feel like I'm gonna get emotional and I think it's just because I'm PMSing. Taking time away from uh, a typical job, something more steady, to try and uh, get me through college so I could provide a better life for my kids. And for people to rip on people like me, it really sucks because I love that this has worked out for me. I need to take a minute. Okay, I love this has worked out for me. I love that I, I'm able now to work with cool brands everywhere. And I'm still kind of a baby channel in the grand scheme of things, you know? Um, I love that I'm able to do that and connect with you guys. And it really hurts me uh, to see a group of people creating this whole idea that we're monsters, that we're money hungry and greedy and all this stuff. It's like, we're, we're not, we're really not. And if you think we are, why are you watching us? I think a lot of people maybe just think it's no work. Um, it doesn't take a lot of time. Like, oh, wow, well, wow, well, your life is so hard. Uh, brands just send us a bunch of shit for free and we get just, just play with makeup all day and we have no worries. All is glamorous, all is good. That's not the case. This whole thing just kind of makes it, I don't know, it makes it a little scary. It makes it a lot less fun at times. Um, sometimes I'll have cool opportunities come by and I'm nervous to create content about it because I think about the heat that I'll get. I don't think it should be that way. I, I want this to be fun again. It sucks because my relationship with you guys, my viewers, is very, very important to me. And it's something that I've worked hard to build. I cherish some of these friendships and connections that I've made uh, through my YouTube channel. And when I see something threatening that, it it gives me a stomach ache. So that's why I'm responding today. I hope, you know, you found this eye-opening somehow. I don't think it's new information. People have talked about this before, but I just wanted to let you guys know my thoughts on it because it's something that doesn't seem to be going away. If anything, it seems to be getting worse and worse and worse. So let's just take a deep breath and start having fun again. I love you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave them down below. I love interacting with you guys. As you know, I will leave all my social channels, Snapchat, etc. All of that in the description bar for you guys to see. I would appreciate it if you followed me on Snapchat especially because that's my fave. Again, I love you guys. I appreciate you. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.